action. And we are back. Season 4 Harvest has completed. Uh, we did... It was a long harvest, let's put it that way. It took us quite a while. But grain-wise, I think we made out pretty good. We got 29,000 bushels of soybeans. Uh, those are spread out over a couple bins, so ideally it would all be in one and make easy transfer when we sell it, but it's not a big deal. Uh, dry corn. We ended up starting to run out of space for the dry corn, so that's something that we're going to have to probably address uh, this winter. Uh, as long as we can sell some grain, I don't know, we might not be able to sell grain in that time, but uh, so we got this bin full, over 400 liters of corn that needs to be dried. This one's full, same thing, over 400 liters. And then this one also is full. So a ton of corn in these. Uh, so all three of those are filled, but then we also have the New Horizons grain dryer filled um, with over, once it's all dried up, it's gonna have over two million liters of dry corn. So. Hopefully, I mean, not even hopefully, that's going to give us some really good profit whenever we decide to sell it. Uh, I have a couple plans for the farm in upgrading. I just kind of have to figure out how much I want to spend and how much I want to rearrange it. Um, obviously, for the most part, all this is going to stay the same. I'm debating we didn't even plant this field this year. Uh, it's only like three acres, and it wasn't worth pulling the equipment back out when I realized they didn't plant it. I think uh, I'm going to be looking at pricing to put up a big grain uh, silo here. Since we have New Horizons um, still, we don't necessarily need the grain dryer, but just some really large bins here would help. If it's all connected into one, that would be great, but... It's all going to kind of depend on price. You know, if we can, for half the price, just, you know, set up a line of bins that give us way more um, capacity than doing a big setup, then that's probably what we'll do. Uh, we also were able to plow up this field with that 71, 72, and then 61 and 60. And then field 58, we also got plowed before the winter started. Uh, we have left... 69 and 68 which we're just con considering field 68 now uh, we left that we're gonna do probably a no-till on this field and we'll go from there so currently all we're doing is waiting uh, letting time pass letting all that grain dry and if it's uh good profit or good pricing at least then we're gonna go ahead and sell probably as much as we can see what what money we can. We do have a little bit of a loan that we still have to pay off. Uh, where is that at? Yeah, so we got almost 200000 in a loan. Not a big amount of a loan. Nothing that I'm worried about. But, uh, you know, if we have a bunch of money left over, we might think, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some new equipment. Maybe we'll get bigger equipment. Um, custom harvesting did cost us about hundred grand this year. Which wasn't bad. I think we're going to, I don't think that's even going to be a dent in our profit margin. And, you know, New Horizons knocked it out of the park way quicker than we ever would have been able to unless we go out and buy four brand new combines, which is not in the budget. So we'll probably stick with them. But if we can cut that price down a little bit by getting our own equipment, maybe that's in the uh, future plans. But, you know, with that, we're probably going to need more storage space since. The fertilizer and seed shed is pretty much full, and this one is pretty much already full also with the truck, the Alice, and then the two cases. We got, obviously, a spot from one more tractor, but uh, I don't want to have to really, you know, Tetris pack it in here. I still want to be able to move around the tractors and at least work on the stuff in this building. Uh, this building is a different story. This is pretty much getting to the point where it's getting packed in as much as we can we do have some open space but of course i don't want to park anything here and then in order to get it out you're gonna have to hook up the trailer or the planter uh, that's just gonna be a lot of work so like i said we're gonna let time fly by here a little bit 
Hopefully it doesn't snow too much this winter, but that might keep us busy if it does. But we're going to let all this stuff dry and see what kind of profit margin we have. Welcome back, guys. We are almost done, almost uh, through the winter. We have sold quite a bit of dry corn. Uh, if we look, we have about 200, roughly 200 liters, uh, 200,000 liters of uh, dry corn, but we've sold all the, um, we sold all the dry corn that were in these bins over here, and then we've sold, I think it was about 200,000 liters that w was over at New Horizons that was already done, so we've sold all that, we, our profit was about two million dollars, I think it was a little over like 2.1. I don't remember if um, I was recording at that time after I transported the grain or not, uh, but we had that, and then we made some upgrades to the farm, some big purchases, which obviously brought us down to a little over 500000 So uh, once we sim it up until the day, I'll take you a walk around the farm and show you what we added. Uh, the main thing we concentrated on was storage for this year, especially soybeans, because I think we're going to go all soybeans since we still have all that corn that's drying. There's no point in, in my eyes, harvesting any more corn that's just going to have to sit around and wait even longer to dry, even though we did upgrade our, our uh, bins to dry corn. I think soybeans is what we'll concentrate on this year. Uh, when summer comes, I think once the prices go up for soybeans and dry corn, probably right around the second part of summer is when dry corn goes up, and I think it's the same for soybeans. Yeah. So right around that time, I think we're going to sell off whatever we have dry when it comes to corn and maybe all of our soybeans. Um, it will free up some storage space, but I don't think we're going to use all of our storage space because I will show you why. But it's coming to the daytime, so we'll let the game sink. And then I'll give you a walk around of the uh, not new farmland, but we'll say upgraded farm. All right, so over here we still got, this is all the same. Still got the two buildings, auger storage. These silos are still here. The silo that used to be out there that we store, originally stored majority of our soybeans, uh, we have taken that down. We've brought those augers over here, and I'll show you where those are. Uh, but we're going to cultivate over that, and it's just going to be part of the field, that little section over there. So obviously over here, at our entrance is where we made the big purchases this year is we um, paid to have a grain complex is what I would call it uh, installed so this was the majority of the cost I think it came out to, to a little over um, 1.5 million but it is a ton of storage space for us and then we got the little shed out here where um, we can watch or hang out while uh, we're loading up or transferring from bin to bin. So that is going to be a huge upgrade for us. All of our soybeans are going to be there. Um, we might store, uh, we have a couple wet bins. We might store the corn there until we can transfer it up to New Horizons to get it dried. Uh, and then we also install, installed four more um, grain bins over here. That do have the fans in them that will uh, slowly dry the corn also. So that will um, help that situation out. Uh, especially if we, like we did this year, we filled up New Horizons dryer and their bins up there. So it's just kind of a waiting game until all that's done. But <clears throat> this was the main purchase for the uh, year. We'll go out, get a little overhead view of it. Still got the same driveway. 
Uh, this used to be field, I think, 70, 70 or 71. And um, we ended up planting grass in it and then chose to build on there. So we do have this open space. So if we do um, either need more bins, we can throw them in there or maybe a building. I'm not sure. I think during the summer, if we do make some good money, I'm looking at possibly upgrading some equipment, maybe getting our own combine, or adding some storage somewhere. With the equipment, though, if we do get more equipment, we don't really have any spots to store it, so a, a building of some sort will probably have to be required. I'm not totally sure where that would go, but... Obviously, finding a space to put in a new building is a good problem to have. There's many other problems that we could have that uh, wouldn't be so great. But uh, also with the amount of fields we have still, and based off last year, it does cost us quite a bit to uh, seed those and fertilize those. Uh, we aren't going to throw lime. We did, the, we did it last year. So... Uh, it's going to be a little cheaper this year, but it's still going to cost us quite a bit to plant and fertilize. So we're going to have to save a little bit of that. Uh, other than that, we're still still using or still leasing the same fields as we did last year. Uh, again, we're going to no-till pretty much all of our soybean fields with soybeans again. I think we're going to do all soybeans. We might do one or two fields with corn, but with the amount of corn... We still have. I think it's, yeah, I think we're not going to do probably any corn this year. But, again, we'll see when planting comes around. Maybe some plans change. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the update for the farm currently. So stay tuned. Uh, in no time, it's early spring already. Uh, but in no time, we will probably start planting. And we'll go from there.